Okay, let's quickly talk a bit more about this uh, De Niro stuff, okay? And uh, I'll just show quickly This video is kind of for, for dummies, you know, but some of those, you know, if you want to understand something, it's good to read something or, or um, look at something that is explained very simply. So this is kind of for dummies, you know, but don't, um, um, it, it, I'm just going to explain it easier, okay? Mm. So, um, I talked a long time ago about uh, De Niro and how he is connected to the Philosopher's Stone and, and into, um, into uh, Milk, because his nickname is uh, Bobby Milk, okay, and that is almost Booby Milk, okay, but what I'm trying to, so, so let, let me show you here, you can see the obvious connection, because his grandson died, uh, 19 years old, uh, and um, so I, I talked about this uh, a few months ago, and it will it takes some time, and then uh, stuff happens often. Uh, and so, if you search for this, this is the mother. You'll see that here, directly here, this is news. You can see oh, it's it's the dress again. Well, what about this dress? Well. The dress here, let me zoom in, oh I can't, copy image and paste, paste, okay, so this on her dress is a squared circle and if I search for a squared circle symbol on Google, which I do here, You'll see that what pops up is this one, which is the old Greek version of the squared circle. But this symbol for the Philosopher's Stone is called the squared circle. That's why it pops up everywhere. So this is direct, um, you know, when it comes to, to science, uh, this is not a proof, but it is an indication. But these indications stacks stacks up. It stacks up more and more and more all the time. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, this is the image that presents her. She has a kind of philosopher's stone symbol, a version of it which is less often used with a squared circle uh, but this this is most more often used than uh, this than um, something similar to this um, so uh, the philosopher's stone is directly there and um, this is a sign of the of the enlightenment or uh, what do you call it like it's a sign of um, um, I don't know how to express it okay I'm sorry um, so yeah so how, how can it be like this how can it become like this well um, the reason is the reason is that um, the there is a meme M memes memes you know I don't know really how how, how I will explain this but uh, there are many signs that what created the world what came first was mind and then came matter and that's where you get from mind over matter and some if you zoom out in space and look from a really long distance on the all the galaxies this is just theories right 
So they ran this simulation of, uh, of a universe evolving and it became like a neural network, just like a brain, you see. So, and there you can see the, how it is mind over matter. The mind came first and then came matter, okay? And since it is like this, the world is created with words. And the world is created from understanding words. What words mean? The deeper meaning, like not, not what you read in, 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 a, in a dictionary. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the personality of a word almost. Like some of you know that memes or memetic entities which is also like egregores. Egregore is not a bad thing. First of all, it's it, it's a it's a concept, conceptual idea. It's it, it's a descriptive term, an egregore, which is neither good or bad. And uh, so words are memes in themselves, and they have this cloud of connections between other things and so words become very pow powerful when you understand them what they mean and so there is an obvious two into one in this reality which means that when you you know I I discovered uh, I discovered the secret symbolism of uh, Robert De Niro at the same time as I like around the same time that I understood scapegoating uh, maybe a bit after I I really understood what scapegoating is because that's a word that word is deep and that word has a cloud of connections to, to Greek and to Hebrew and into, uh, into history, into religion. It has, it has a strong bond into culture, into the collective unconscious itself. And once you understand the word, other things will show itself. You are shown a world of truth. Okay. And so I got, I was led to understand uh, Robert De Niro, and I realized that he uh, he was a part of hiding the truth about uh, Yabba Dabba Doos. He was a part of that. Not only that. He had awareness of the consequences since his uh, one of his family was um, had got these consequences from the Jabba Dabba Do. One of his son or grandson had um, autistic was autistic and had damages, something like that. Okay, and then he had this this. Uh, Mm. He was the creator of this big, big uh, movie. Uh, how do you say? Where where they give away awards to best movie and so on. You know, he he was the creator of such a such a thing. He was the main owner of it, and. Even though he had his background in his family, he chose, he chose um, lies. And you could see and you could make the argument that if this, uh, if this uh, movie about Yabba Dabba Doos, it was a documentary about the damages of Yabba Dabba Doos, that was released before 
the pandemic okay it was released before that and if it would have spread it would have spread an awareness about this and it would it could have stopped the hysteria much of the hysteria because it could have spread a kind of critical thinking which wasn't there it wasn't there the critical thinking so this is his uh, his sin okay this is his great sin and um, I was led to see this I was led there and uh, I prepared the I, I started to see how he was damning himself by refusing to be a role in the 12 monkeys he was offered the main role of james cole in 12 monkeys but he refused it and i started to realize this connection between him being the milk of the philosopher's stone and uh, that he would form a philosopher's stone from that okay and uh, from that point on, you could see this trace from the start of his career until modern time in his latest work, which I didn't talk about, but it has to do with... Uh, you can make this interpretation about... A bird looking in the mirror and him being that bird you know I can't even explain it and I don't remember exactly but I can look it up I will not do it but I, I could do it I, I know it's there but uh, so um, he damned himself you see with his uh, destiny and it's there and all i all i did was i started talking about it you know i started to shine a light on that on that possible um, the lack of critical thinking of the general population of the world which could have been solved by him um, because he had Yabba Dabba do uh, consequences in his own family you see I did deep research in this and still he refused to he he, he, he just uh, obeyed authority he just felt that no I shouldn't show this documentary about Yabba Dabba do consequences a word that I cannot even say because this world is so uh, so sick okay mm. it's so sick with the lies everywhere so i cannot say a word about that um anyhow his own nickname uh, bobby milk is there it's even in the movie 12 monkeys when James Cole is imprisoned James Cole hears a voice he hears a voice in his prison cell and he imagines that it's a voice in his own mind am I, am I just a voice in your mind or am I real the voice says and it, it calls him what does the voice call James Cole he calls him Bobby Bob maybe it was or Bobby and he calls him that because Bobby Bobby Milk is uh, De Niro's nickname De Niro is playing I'm sure of this 
if there are other dimensions I'm sure that game that um, Bobby Milk or um, De Niro is playing that role in 12 Monkeys uh, at another place and it should have happened you know and yeah but here where we are it didn't um, anyhow so this is why uh, it was uh, potent and this is why things happened and this is why she has a philosopher's um, stone symbol similar to that on her dress that's why uh, it, it's also called a uh, man, mandala, mandala, the symbol. It is from um, Indian culture, the mandala. They use the mandala, it's on the wall, and they look at it and they meditate in the mandala, you know. Uh, the the India Indian population and they look at that and they in as I see it it is connected to the eye you know the inner eye you know uh, so well okay guys that's all just a bit more about this um, trying to tell the whole story the whole story yeah there are many videos about this subject actually which um, the videos about um, uh, that I did about De Niro can seem uh, absolutely crazy if if it wouldn't have happened this now you see now uh, things happen and all of a sudden I am not crazy anymore I'm not absolutely crazy anymore on the opposite I am on the other side of that scale but if nothing would have happened uh, I would have been absolutely crazy right that's how it is and I'm, I'm not being ironic here or, or uh, I'm not joking like if I talk about Robert De Niro or something like this and there is nothing there, absolutely nothing, then I am per definition crazy. crazy. But you know, you can see this, um, you can realize that there is something here now, okay, uh, since his uh, 19 year old uh, grandson died, okay, there is this there's something bad around this, okay? Almost almost like a curse, okay? But what did I do? All, all, all I did was to realize patterns. I talked about them. And, and so I'm kind of innocent, you see? Even though I am connected to this, you see? Um, if you think about uh, forest fires, where would the, you, you could see that, where did it start to burn? Well, it's not my fault that the forest is dry, you know, it's not my fault. Uh, but yeah, at the same time, you shouldn't okay it, it it's a bad way to to it's a bad metaphor this because you shouldn't go and burn things right uh, nature it should uh, try to be as it is right it, it was a bad metaphor uh, excuse me for that um, but what I do what I what I did was to see that there were there were this uh, there could have been another a real debate or another behavior of the pandemic if if the if this documentary would have been allowed to be uh, but it was cancelled you know cancel culture the documentary about the 
damages of Yabba Dabba Doo got uh, cancelled on his show that he manages and that's really bad since his own son or grandson or something like that had had this um, serious consequences from it he he knows about this but he 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 um, he shows he shows to be evil uh, and and uh, he shows to to be dishonest to his his inner about that and um, yeah Okay, and all of this has to do with making, uh, you know, there were this time after the pandemic when, when they said, uh, when all the population, or there were this media attention behind forgiving, forgive us for, for uh, treating you like a leper, you know. We that didn't take the Jabba Dabba Doo, we were treated like shit, you know, it was, it, it, it's crazy, okay, it was almost like, you could say that it's a um, holocaust almost to us, right? Uh, people committed suicides and things like that. Mm. Horrible stuff. And there were this organic fear for us our judgment our silent judgment of them you know and uh, it was shown there in that and there is something that you know what what is making people healthy is ideas the idea about denying you know they deny in some sense or they blame <clears throat> this is humanity we need to blame and deny to be healthy it's so it's it's how it is okay and it's the opposite of truth we need to lie we need to uh, blame and so then we get healthy it's not it's not the Yabba dabba do that that makes us healthy. It's it, it's the it's the it's the act of of um, putting a part of the people on the other side and say that they are bad, or one person and say that they are bad, and from that health is generated according to uh, scapegoat psychology and theory, the old scapegoat thing so so deep so deep um, so what happens here is that this is a way to break denial in my opinion and uh, to shine light on 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 this uh, on this uh, bad behavior and it if it is successful, it has it has consequences. It can snowball. This this can snow snowball because society has someone to blame, you know. And I don't like blaming, but they have someone to blame. And it's a bit silly also to blame a single person, you know. I don't like that, but uh, but. There is a potential for it here. And, um, but it's silly. I, I agree, it's silly. Still, 100% it's silly. But again, it's a bit true because you can see the, you can see the uh, symbolism around the Philosopher's Stone all around them. It's there. Well, um, 
I'll just end this now. See you bye. Bye bye.